ఓం శ్రీ లక్ష్మీ నరసింహాయ నమ వాల్మీకి రామాయణ యుద్ధకాండ చాప్టర్ ఫార్టీ టూ రావణ ఇన్ఫార్మ్డ్ అబౌట్ ద సీచ్ ఆఫ్ లంక సమరి ద డెమెన్స్ బ్రేక్ ద న్యూస్ టు రావణ అబౌట్ లంక రావణ హ్యావింగ్ బీన్ లేడ్ సీస్ టు బై ద మంకీస్ రావణ దెన్ అసెన్స్ ఇస్ మ్యాన్షన్ అండ్ సర్వేస్ ద ఇన్యూబరబుల్ ట్రిప్స్ ఆఫ్ మంకీస్ ఆక్యుపాయింగ్ ద ఎంటైర్ సిటీ ఆఫ్ లంక మీన్ వైల్ రామా ఇష్యూస్ ఎ కమాండ్ టు ద మంకీస్ టు డిస్ట్రాయ్ ద ఎనిమీస్ ఫోర్త్ వెత్ the monkey starts demolishing various important defensive structures of the city of lanka and besiege all the city gates ravana also commands his army to commence combat sounds of conches blow by the army and the terrible roars on both sides reechoes the air earth and sea demons be- begin to strike the monkeys with their weapons and the monkeys respond the strike with trees mountain tops nails and teeth chapter 42 in detail then the demons there approached ravana and informed him that the city has been besieged by rama along with his monkeys hearing that the city has been attacked ravana exhibiting his anger doubly made the necessary arrangements for the war and ascended his mansion that ravana caught a glimpse of the city of lanka with its mountains groves and forests all being covered by innumerable troops of monkeys waiting for war seeing the earth made all brown with innumerable monkeys ravana in great perplexity reflected how can they be exterminated having pondered for long regaining his confidence and with his eyes widened by surprise ravana gazed on rama and his troops of monkeys full of delight rama passed forward on the back of a monkey along with his army and saw lanka being guarded on all sides and thronged with demons seeing the city of lanka duly decorated with banners and flags rama remembered sita with a distressed heart he said to himself here is the daughter of janaka whose eyes resemble those of a fawn tormented with grief emaciated with a bare ground as a bed and suffering here on my account reflecting on sita being troubled the virtuous rama speedily issued a command to the monkeys to destroy the enemy forthwith hearing those words of rama who was unwearied in action the monkey waving with one another filled the air with the roaring resembling those of lion we shall tear asunder this lanka with mountain peaks or with fists alone thus resolved all the monkey generals lifting up mountain peaks and huge rocks and plucking up various kinds of trees the monkey generals stood prepared for the attack in order to fulfill rama's cherished desire those troops forming themselves into columns began to scale the heights of lanka while ravana stood gazing those monkeys of golden hue with coppery countenance fighting with sala trees and mountain peaks marched ahead towards the city of lanka ready as they were to lay down their lives in rama's service those monkeys demolished innumerable defensive walls and arches with blows from trees mountain tops and fests the monkeys filled the moats containing clear water with sands mountain tops grasses and logs of wood the commander scaled the walls of lanka taking with them battalions of monkeys in thousands in crores and even hundreds of crores the monkeys stood tearing up the golden arches and breaking down the gates that equal the peak of kailasa the mountainous abode of shiva the lord of destruction the monkeys who resembled great elephants hurled themselves towards the lanka springing leaping and roaring the monkeys who were able to change their form at will shouting victory to mighty rama and the valiant rakshmana victory of sugriva protected by raghava and roaring <coughs> rushed towards the defensive walls of lanka those monkey generals viraba virabahu subahu nala and panasa having positions on them meanwhile they formed an encampment of a multitude of military divisions there the mighty kumuda surrounded by crores of monkeys who behaved like conquerors stood besieging, besieging the eastern gate while remaining stationed in northeast surrounded by other monkeys a monkey called prasabha and the mighty armed panasa to, took up their positions in order to assist kumuda himself the strong and valiant monkey shatabali accompanied by 20 crores of monkeys approached the southern gate while remaining stationed in southeast and stood there to obstruct the exit the mighty monkey named sushena the father of tara wali's wife going to the western gate while remaining stationed in the southwest surrounded by crores and crores of monkeys stood besieging that gate rama along with lakshmana and sugriva the mighty lord of the monkeys seeking the northern gate while remaining stationed in the northwest stood besieging that gate Accompanied by a crore of bears 
having terrific rage dhumra brother of jambavan the king of bears of great prowess and annihilator of enemies took up his position by the side of rama vibhishana of great energy with mace in his hand clad in defensive armor and accompanied by his watchful ministers took his position where the mighty arm rama is stationed gavaksha gavaya sharaba and gandamadana galloping on all sides defended the army of monkeys ravana the lord of demons with his mind filled in anger then commanded for the decamping of the entire army immediately at this command coming from ravana's lips a tremendous clamor arose among the demons by beating with sticks of gold the demons stirred up on every side kettle drum whose discs were white as the moon hundreds and thousands of sonorous couches blared forth blows with their blown with their cheeks and extended to the full by the most ghastly demons with their handsome limbs equipped with couches those rangers of night shone like clouds bo- bordered with lightning accompanied by rows of cranes the battalions rushed forth under ravana's instructions like the rushing forth of the ocean which is so- solen by the clouds at the time of universal dissolution then from every side a clamor arose from the army of monkeys which filled malaya mountain with its riches plains and caves malaya mountain the sounds of couches and drums made by the demons and leonine roars of those monkeys warriors reechoed over the earth sky and sea with the trumping of elephants the neighing of the horses the clattering of the chariot wheels and the sounds of the footsteps the sound of the couches reechoed over the earth sky and sea in the meantime a terrible struggle ensued between the demons and the monkeys as in the former times times between celestials and demons exhibiting the native native prowess the demons began to strike all the monkeys with their flaming maces spears harpoons and axes then the gigantic monkeys swiftly struck those demons with trees mountain tops nails and teeth victorious is king sugriva thus arose a loud war cry then some other terrifying demons on their part shouting be winsome be victorious proclaimed their own respective names while some demons standing on walls hacked at monkeys standing on the ground below with hooks and harpoons the enraged monkeys who we standed on the ground leapt into the air and dragged down the demons stationed on the wall seizing them with their arms that tumultuous combat between demons and monkeys transformed into a wonder leaving a mire of flesh and blood thus completes 42nd chapter of yuddha kanda of the glorious ramayana of valmiki the book of age and the oldest epic sri moolarama vijayate om sri krishnarpanamastu